One of the things I miss most about my new car is the acceleration. This is a Tesla Model 3 2023 dual motor long range. However, my previous one was a performance. The performance does zero to 100 kph in about 3.2 seconds and this one is 4.4 seconds so um, 1.2 seconds slower which is noticeable but there's something we can do about it. Welcome to Totally Electric where I talk about different experiences with electric vehicles we do tests and we do it usually from the perspective of the user so what we're going to do today is we're going to first have a test and see how fast this car actually is and then we're going to see if we can improve that using the acceleration boost from Tesla. First up, a test run. See what's the actual 0 to 100 time in this car. In order to do that, we use this, a draggy. A draggy is a device you put on your car. It's magnetized so it can fit up there. And then your mobile phone will pick up data from the device. It's a high precision GPS accelerometer. So let's do it. No more chit chat. Let's go. The car battery is at 95%. So I should get a pretty good reading out of this. Here we are, stopping, resetting the draggy. Let's go. There we go, that was 100. There's no mystery to accelerating in this car. It's just go and hit the accelerator, no problem. Okay, here we go. A new record on this car, it's 4.33 seconds. So it's actually faster than the 4.4 it was supposed to do, which is great. I've done several test runs now with different states of battery seems like at 95% it can easily beat the 4.4 official score. So 4.33 is the time to beat. So how am I going to improve 4.33 seconds? Well, Tesla fortunately has something that they call acceleration boost. It's quite easy to buy it. Actually, it's almost too easy. Uh, usually when you buy a piece of software that'll upgrade your car and make it even faster, it voids the warranty of your car. However, this is an official Tesla upgrade, so it doesn't do anything to your warranty. It doesn't do anything actually to how far you can go to your range or anything like that. It just improves the uh, the acceleration of your car. So apologies for having this in Spanish. However, I'll go into the second but last menu called improvements or in Spanish, mejoras. Up there, I'll find software improvements. Up there, you can see there'll be the acceleration boost, which here in Spain cost 1,800 euros. Ooh. So for 1,800 euros, I can go from 4.4 seconds to 3.9 seconds. Half a second improvement, 1,800 euros. I don't know if it's worth it. You be the judge of that. However, there's a trick to getting it a little bit cheaper. So fortunately, if I go back to the main menu, I can click on the treasure chest up here and there I go into the credit system. Again, apologies for this being in Spanish. My phone is in Spanish, so the app just goes to Spanish as well. If I go to exchange uh, or to buy or use my credits, I can go to updates and there I also have the acceleration boost. It's 7,000 credits. Fortunately, I have 48,800 credits available. So this will be completely free. I've gotten to 48,800 credits. Thanks very much to all of the people who've used our referral code. And uh, if you want to buy a Tesla and get between 500 and 1,000 euros discount, you can use a referral code I put down in the description. It won't be my own. We've already reached the 12 plus um, referrals you can get per year. So I'll put somebody else's who does not have any or have only very few referrals down there. Back to this. Right, so we're going to go into our main menu. We're going to select improvements, go through a few screens of confirmation select which car we're going to do this for because we have two model threes so we just want to do this for the one called arenque which is herring in uh, in spanish don't ask we buy it and we have a message here on screen saying that it needs to uh, restart the computer so i'll go out of the car and get back in and see if it's done it Okay, it would seem like the computer has restarted. I don't know, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Let's find out. Okay, let's try this out. I'm a, I'm a bit nervous, but let's see. Come to a complete stop, reset the draggy. Ready, let's go. Oh yeah, it pulls harder. Woo, it definitely pulls harder. I mean, I don't know how much harder, but harder. So it was supposed to go from 4.4 to 3.9. 
let's see if they've actually done it. So officially 4.4 to 3.9, I measured 4.33, and in the test run, here we go, here we go, 3.82. So yeah, Tesla delivered, great. If you wanna try this out as well, you can in your Model 3 or Model Y, dual motor, long range, just go in and buy the update for 1,800 euros. Is it worth it, 1,800 euros? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You have to really like the acceleration and really enjoy, you know, launching the car. Mm, if you have the credits for it, definitely go for it. Absolutely. I mean, who doesn't like a fast accelerating car? So yeah, up to you. What do you think? Is it worth it? Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't. There'll be plenty of more videos coming soon about Teslas and other, other EVs as well. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a comment down below. Do you think it's worth it to pay 1,800 euros or 7,000 credits from the store in order to get just half a second faster from naught to 100? I don't know, up to you. Um, thank you for watching. See you again very soon. We're going to the IAA show in Munich where we're gonna see a lot of the new cars, electric cars, of course, coming out. We're only interested in electric cars because this is totally electric. Oh yeah, and subscribe and something.